Okay, let's unbox our Powermon 5S Bluetooth battery monitor. Um, full disclosure, this is a warranty uh, replacement. I bought one of these about a year ago, and it stopped working about three days after the warranty expired. Hats off to Thornwave. They, um, yeah, Thornwave Labs. I called them, and uh, they were more than happy to send me out a new one. I think the old one failed. Um, because of how I had it mounted in the um, battery compartment. We'll go over that in a little bit. Okay, let's open the box. Okay, nice beefy unit. Um, Five hundred amps and point zero uh, this uh, zero point two five this is a higher quality shunt. most of the shunts that I've seen are zero point five. What this means is that you'll probably get more accurate readings from it um, to give you a sense of the size this is a one two three block, so that'll uh, kind of give you a sense of the size of the the unit. What's interesting is that this block and this this unit, they kind of feel like the same way. This is a pretty hefty little piece of uh, stuff here. Okay, also some nice cables. And I like that these aren't like cheap cables. These are nice thick cables, even though they don't have to be. They're probably not carrying a lot of load. Um, and nicely crimped and quality hardware. These are little details that I really like to see in, in units like this. Now, if there's one flaw in this whole thing is that this isn't covered, and I think this is what got me into trouble the last time. Um, battery compartments are um, difficult places. Um, they're usually open to the elements a little bit. My compartment is not sealed. And so you get um, weathering and corrosion and other things going on in battery compartments. And I think that's what caused this circuit board to fail. So we're going to make a, we're just going to wrap it in some tape here to um, protect it. But yeah, really nice quality unit. I don't know if there's really much more to say about it. The other advantage of this um, battery monitor is that it has the it records the data on board so that later on you can use the phone app to uh, go back and see the history of recharging and discharging um, none of the other units on the market do that they do it with the smartphone and of course the smartphone has to be attached in order to do the monitoring so this uh, keeps its monitoring all on board it's got some relays uh, it's uh, you can trigger a relay with this too um, when the battery goes high or low. There's settings for that. Um, again, really nice beefy hardware, nice solid base. Um, I really like this product. It's just well made. Okay, so what I've done here is just wrapped it in some electrical tape. I always put a little dab of super glue right at the end, end of these, because if you've ever worked with electrical tape, the ends can curl up on you and, and roll off, so that'll keep that from coming undone. And I just laid tape you know, across the, uh, the surface here. I had to put a couple little slices in here to expose the terminals. And of course, I covered up the little labels as to what goes where, so I put battery and relay. Battery goes, connects here, relay, also the battery side here, the load side here. Just to remind myself so I hook it up correctly. But yeah, that's a pretty simple uh, idea here is just to put some tape around it. Now the, uh, the elements will not get to this circuit board as easily. Obviously it's not super sealed, but this will definitely um, keep most of the bad stuff away from, from the circuit board. 
Okay, so here it is installed. Um, there's a bus bar running here, and this is the actual power mon unit. Now, if you're wondering what the black is, I always take liquid electrical tape and spray everything to uh, keep it from corroding. It's a way of insulating stuff. So, yeah, the black makes it hard to see, but basically you're coming off the positive to the power mon. And I've got a switch here that goes into the rest of the stuff. But, uh... Pretty straightforward installation. It doesn't require any special skills. And then this black wire that you see here runs to the negative terminal over here to power the unit. It takes very little power to uh, actually run the, the uh, power mount itself. Um, and you leave it always on, so you see it's on the side of the switch that is always connected to the battery. That's so it can constantly monitor the flow of electricity in and out of the system. Let me get a little closer here. Yeah, there you go. And this is just a bus bar. Yeah, so I hope that helps. All right, this is the uh, app that you use with PowerMon. Um, nice little app. It gives you a ton of information. You get uh, a lot of history, battery status. I won't go over all this. Um, he's got stuff on his website about it. But, yeah, it's a nice little app. Now, one thing he said was that the new model had a better Bluetooth or a stronger Bluetooth, and I have to say that this new model, the Bluetooth does work a lot better. Um, it's stronger, and uh, I can pretty much get battery status from any part of the RV here. Okay, so that concludes uh, PowerMon. Nice little product, uh, great service, and uh, neat little company.